Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure a VPN tunnel uh, between uh, Palo Alto on premise and AWS. Uh, it will be it's going to be um, BG, I'm going to using BGP for my tunnel, so it's not going to be static. Um, here is my uh, local AWS network, which is going to be 10.0.0 slash 20. Uh, and this is just the PC which I have uh, uh, in uh, AWS. And 172.16.20.0/24 will be my uh, local uh, network for the Palo Alto site on the DC. Okay, first thing you need to, do to configure is going to be AWS site. So if you go uh, EC2, we can see I have uh, Ubuntu server uh, already configured. Uh, this is the IP address of the Ubuntu machine that we're going to use for testing once we create the, the tunnel. So for you to create a tunnel, you need to go to VPC. Uh, and you can see I have my uh, VPC. This is the subnet for the VPC. And we need to create uh, three things first. So we need to create a customer gateway, create customer gateway. Uh, here you can uh, add uh, you know a name for your uh, gateway so we can call it pa customer gateway you can leave this by default you need to add the ip address on the power auto uh, public ip interface And you can leave the other by default. You can attack if you need to add anything else, but that, that should be enough. So once we do this, then we need to create a virtual private gateway. So click virtual private gateway, create virtual private gateway. You can give a name as well. PA VPG. Here I'll leave a default ASN that I'll use, but if you need to use a, uh, you have a, your custom ASN here, you can, you know, click and choose your um, ASN number. Once you create this, you see it says detach. So you need to highlight it and click on action and attach to VPC. Here you can choose the VPC you have. It's gonna take uh, might take a, a minute or something to attach the the VPC. Once the VPC is attached, uh, go to side to side VPN connection and uh, create VPN connection. Uh, give a name. Leave it as uh, a virtual private gateway. Uh, choose the virtu virtual gateway we just created, and same thing for the customer gateway we create in the per first step. Here, if you want to use a static uh, VPN, you can choose static and then obviously add uh, your static IP prefixes that you want to, to do. I I'm going to do a dynamic. Uh, BGP one. So here, once you do this, usually you can create the VPN will be ready. Uh, also, here you can uh, you can leave a, uh, you can change the default options. For example, if you if you want to uh, use specific one, for example, I'm going to use ag version two, so I don't want ag version one to be uh, enabled. Also, I know that I'm gonna use. Uh, 256 uh, GCM, so just gonna leave this for both phases. You can remove uh, all this as well. You don't have to because whatever you configure on the other side, in this example in Palo Alto, this is what's gonna be used, but it's up to you if you want to do it or not. I'm just showing you that you can do this option. 
can you know remove any of them if you want to or if you can leave it default anyway uh, and I'm leaving the rest uh, by default tunnel 2 you can do same thing if you want to I'll leave the tunnel 2 by default so you can see uh, you can see it after once we create it so we do create VPN if you click on the VPN and you click tunnel details here is the uh, IP addresses that been created for you so and if you click option like tunnel you can see what we have here like chosen you know the different options if you click on tunnel 2 you can see everything is by default so all of them so which means uh, whatever you choose on the firewall on, on your peer uh, this is what going to use uh, it's everything by default is enabled in on the tunnel 2 here is your outside IP addresses uh, AWS, uh, AWS using uh, two tunnels for resiliency and here is your tunnel IP addresses that you need to use for your BGP uh, there's option here you can do download configuration let's say we can choose uh, Palo Alto uh, let's say 7 uh, Ike version 2 you can download this and that that that's the so you can use this uh, uh, file to help you to configure the firewall but uh, bear in mind uh, it's, it stayed here they are using only um, this is example it's not exactly what you need to configure for example here you can see it says to use DH group 2 which obviously we're not going to use DH2 group uh, SHA1 which not we're not going to use this any of these we're only using this is just example if you want to use the CLI that what you can do let's say you if you want to even use 20 you can just you know change here what you want to do uh, but you can use it for for reference uh, this one I'm going to, to do for I'm not gonna follow exactly it is this but you know it's uh, it's helpful if you want to uh, also you can you can see here the pre-shared key and everything else you can take the information for the IP addresses uh, so <clears throat> So this side now we are ready with AWS. Ah, last last uh, last thing that we need to do uh, before you need to go to the root table, uh, root propagation, edit root propagation, and you need to click enable. Otherwise, uh, once you configure BGP, uh, this uh, AWS won't import the subnet from you know the one is advertised to to, to to it so here at the moment you can see it's only uh 10 0, 0, 20 is the local one and uh, and the default route is on the routing table so we can go to the palo alto and start doing the configuration uh let's say if you want to use uh, this we can start from beginning and then we can see okay it's telling us to configure Ike crypto profile we can go to network Ike crypto and we can create our profile we're going to use DH group 20 authentication uh, will be non off and is 256 GCM uh, the reason I'm choosing non off is because if you use GCM encryption uh, and you choose let's say uh, shaft 256 or any of the others uh, the commit will fail the reason for is uh, when you're using AES 256 GCM uh, the authentication will be um, automatically in, uh, included when once you choose uh, group 20 
that that's that's including um uh, will be a uh, uh, sha uh, 384 for dh group 20 so you have to choose non of basically in this one uh, ours will leave at 8 as is the same in uh, aws next bit we need to configure is ipsec crypto Encryption we're using 256 GSM SHA256 group 20 and uh, leave the other as it is. Next bit we can do uh, we can configure our objects first basically. So we can um, we can have for example AWS one on trust IP address which is my uh, AWS and Trust IP address. So if you come to uh, site to site, you can see them here. So we can configure these objects. It will be easier for us after that. Uh, let's do AWS 2 on Trust. Let's create uh, the tunnel IP addresses. AWS tunnel one. You can see this tunnel one, so you can get this and uh, copy. So this is the subnet, which means the tunnel for uh, AWS will be seventy three, and the tunnel IP address on Palo Alto will be seventy four. So we can configure this seventy three. Palo Alto on one will be seventy four AWS on two sixty five. And Palo Alto Tunnel 2 will be 66. Once we have this, it will be much easier for us. Now let's go back to uh, Network, I Gateway, configure our gateway, which is going to be AWS, I Gateway. I version 2 only interface 1 this is my public interface the one that is going to be connected uh, the reason for you see a public uh, private IP address is because uh, this is a lab and uh, th this file is behind and behind the NAT basically so that's why we need to put the uh, the private IP address which is for untrust energy so peer address will be uh, AWS Untrust. Pre-shared key, there are two, two places where you can get them. One place is if you have this downloaded, you can see here, uh, pre-shared key, I, can, I do. I'll show you in a minute how to do for the second month, where you can get the other one, the other places. So we have pre-shared key, IP address which is 192.168.10.10 this is so I have to enable enable NAT traversal as I said uh, because the firewall is behind NAT but if your NAT if your firewall has you know public IP address is not behind NAT you don't have to uh, tick this Choose the profile which we create for Ike and click OK. Uh, next thing we need to do, 
we have to configure uh, our IPsec tunnel. So click out in the US VPN. Tunnel interface. So we don't have any created, so we can create it from here. If you click on new, you can create the first one. It's going to call tunnel one. Uh, virtual router will be my default one. Security zone. You can use untrust if you want, or I mean, I'll use a, I'll create a new one. It's easier after uh, for your policy and everything else. So call it VPN. The IPv address. Here in this situation, I'm, uh, I can use my AWS Tunnel One. But this will be uh, will be slash thirty two, which I don't want to be uh, slash thirty two. It need to be slash thirty. So you can have it from here. Here is uh, you can use usually you can create your object to be slash 30 but the reason I don't do it because if you use your object everywhere uh, there is a place where you need to use slash 32 uh, and it's gonna be a conflict and your BGP won't work so that's the reason I'm doing this way Here I can, you know, uh, choose my management profile as a ping because I want to be able to ping between, inside the tunnel. Uh, MTU should be 1427. And that's it. So I gateway. It's my gateway. Crypto profile. It's all of them. I created them earlier. Show advanced options. You can click. So here is for the tunnel monitoring. You can choose the destination uh, IP, which is going to be the peer IP, which in this case uh, is going to be the same as 73 on the end. Profile, play over, which you can create from here, monitor, and you can create a way to recover or pay over uh, profile. And that's it. So the first tunnel is done. So we have to create the second gateway before we create uh, the tunnel. So if you go back here, uh, let me just change this one to one, two, confusing. And create another one, AWS2, like gateway. Same, we have a mode two, internet one, Peer address will be AWS2 Untrust pre-shared key. So to get the pre-shared key, there's a two options. You can come here to action. You have to, you know, uh, highlight this action. Uh, modi modify VPN tunnel option. Choose the second one, and here you can get the uh, pre-shared key. Same as the previous one. The IP address, advanced option, enable traversal in my situation. I profile. Okay, so let's go and create the IPC tunnel. Let me change this to tunnel one. So we have AWS VPN tunnel two. 
Tono interface. Create new one as well for here. Top two. Default. VPN. Here is going to be 6 6, which is for the Palo Alto. Profile and 1427 for my MTU. Okay, so my second tunnel is ready. Uh, I Gateway, we're choosing IWS I Gateway 2. Crypto Profile, AWS Profile, Advanced Option, Tunnel Monitoring. Again, here we can choose. We can this is going to be 165 so we have our uh, tunnels ready next thing we'll do we're going to uh, create uh, the bgp so all we need to do going to uh, virtual router default uh, redistribution profile in this situation I'm going to uh, redistribute connected give it a priority so what depends what you want to redistribute as I say in my situation I just have to redistribute uh, my LAN click redistribute then go BGP, enable your router ID, uh, AS number. Here you can see from documentation here will be uh, 65,000. We need to click install root. Peer group will be um, AWS BGP. AWS Tunnel 1. Peer IP will be 64. 512. We're going to choose uh, Tunnel 1. And uh, peer IP will be 169, 254, 64, 73. As I say, always uh, AWS has the first number, first octet, and second one is for the peer. Then click connection option and keep a life interval should be 10 and whole time is going to be 30. Click OK. You can see here this is what Amazon recommended. Keep a life 10 and whole time should be 30. Then we create a second one. AWS. Oh no. Same thing will be you can see 64512. You'll be same peer, peer AS tunnel 2. Well, oh, here you can choose basically uh, your tunnel 2. It'll be same thing uh, as it is slash 32. Action 10 and here is going to be 30. Click OK. OK. Uh, here we can uh, configure what subnet we want to import. So we can we can call it uh, import AWS. So when you import this, make sure this needs to match exactly what you have in your uh, uh, 
you know routing table you can see here uh, otherwise uh, if you have slash 24 for example uh, you know you're not going to import it it's not going to work because bgp needs to be uh, you know much exactly and here we can choose uh, you know both of them click ok and the last bit here we need to go to uh, redistributing rules uh, choose connected the one we uh, configured in the beginning and leave this uh, by default okay so we have uh, BGP created as well so the last bit we need to have is our policies so we can go and create a no not uh, rule WS origin packet will be um, from trust destination will be VPN zone and source address will be um, the LAN network and the destination will be AWS network which I can create now is going to be AWS subnet slash 20 So this is the AWS subnet and you can leave the other as a non. Make sure this one is on top. This is how it's going to look like. And we need to create uh, two security policies. Basically it will be three. If, if you have pink any enable everywhere, obviously you don't have to configure a policy for pink for the BGP, uh, if you don't if you don't have it, you, you know you need to configure it. So I'll configure three of them just to show you. So the first one will be uh, IPsec AWS. We need to have trust. Sorry, will be um, untrust. And source addresses will be AWS Untrust 1 and 2 and our public IP address we can call it PA uh, Trust just create an object so destination will be uh, untrust again same one so we need uh, to have application will be ipsec and like Let's create one for BGP. Source will be your tunnels, uh, zone that you create, in my case, VPN. And I will have uh, AWS tunnel 1, AWS tunnel 2. Palo Alto Tunnel 1 and Palo Alto Tunnel 2. You'll be same for destination. Application, you can choose BGP. Uh, 
Okay, we have twice this. And the last one we will do will be for the ping monitoring. So this one is to keep it uh, alive and uh, can do the you know testing if the tunnel is up. So if it's if it's down, can fail over as well from our side. Again, VPN, they will be same at Tonus Tono One. Uh, sorry, I need to allow all of them because you need to be the other side should be able to do pink as well. So if you have Tono One, Tono Two. Investigation, VPN. Application. Pink. Okay, so we can commit once commit is ready, uh, let's check our tunnel. Okay, first one is up. Okay, so this one is not up for some reason. We can check in a second. We can go to uh, AWS site and we can check here as well. Okay, uh, it shows down. Uh, sometimes uh, AWS is slower to show you the information. let's uh, ping the tunnel okay let's do a test here to see what if we have the tunnel up we can do a ping one zero one four three here we can see pink is working we can ping the other side uh, also if we come to the routing table we can see uh, we have uh, received the subnet from the Palo Alto site. As I say, you can see it still shows down, but we have access. We can see that the uh, subnet is populated in the routing table. Uh, probably this will come in a second. Uh, so we have the first tunnel is down, which is good thing. Ah, okay, I realize why, uh, I believe I know why it's happened. Um, as I explained earlier, here we have 256 GCM, right? And this is not off. So if you're using group 20, that means uh, automatically you populate SHA384. Uh, and when I've done here on the first tunnel, we can see I use uh, SHA-256 uh, for phase one. So this is what we need to uh, fix. So if I come on AWS, I come action, modify VPN tunnel option. And here we have uh, tunnel one integrity we can choose this instead of this and let's save so we can test to see if now uh, the VPN will come for the second site so tunnel okay the first one shows now uh, you know the second tone shows up as up we can see one BGP root as well
this one still shows as down uh, let's see what's happening so we don't see it in our uh, routing table we go bgp you can see it's first tunnel hasn't been connected so it's not been established uh, let's uh, try to to bring it out so we can do uh, check me in time it might come up sometimes take a little bit of time to for this to work Okay, so you can see still down. Uh, let's go to the CLI. Do test VPN. Like SA. Gateway. AWS 1. We can try to ping as well. So seeing this pink source seventy four post seventy three. We can see ping is working now. So this should be up. Still shows as down. Okay, now you can see it's up. So probably just it's needed a little bit of time you can see so basically my was a, a good example so as as uh, as i say tunnel phase one integrity you can see automatically is, is need sha 2384 so that it was good that i made mistake basically so you can see here um, how we can troubleshoot this but yeah that was the so we can see both of them up now everything works well thank you very much guys uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed the video um, please uh, like and subscribe and if you have any question please ask me you know in the uh, comments below thank you